Okay, so the driver side frames in rough shape compared to what the passenger side was. So I mark this, I'll cut this out and uh, weld this in here. This will get repaired when I do the cross member. And I'll cut this stuff out, make a patch, patch for here and here. This section here is rotted. So that's this piece that goes in there. <sighs> um, this is two layers of steel here. So we'll cut out the inner, weld this in, cut out the outer, weld this in. So then it's two, two pieces again. So if you look at the passenger side here, the only spot of the frame I had to fix was right there. It had one spot. So I just plated it. I didn't bother to cut it out because it was just like a little hole like that. But all the supports and everything are all new. I reuse steel, so that's why this has got what's left of a Toro Ground Master decal on it. Um, but the frame and everything for this one is really nice and solid. It's just the floor was in better shape there, but the frame is worse. So, anyway. And then we got a rockers and a, another inner brace that go in. So this is the inner brace. Let's see. So this will be down in here like so. And that gives the inner structure. I'm not going to bother with the holes and all the uh, dimples, the dimple dies and stuff on this. But one thing, these are for the Metropolitan, so they're shorter. Now, I was debating adding on to it and so that the lip would be further down. But I also could just straighten this lip here. And then I can spot weld it to the side instead of the bottom of the rocker. So these are the two rock outer rockers that we had made. So basically, instead of spot welding it here, it would be spot welded here on the side. So it's it's not really going to affect it any whether I. Either way I do it, one's obviously a little bit stronger because it's still got the 90. So it's adding like an extra lip. But anything's better than what it currently is or was. So if you look here, you can see we got this rebuilt. There's a tube in here so when it gets tightened down, it doesn't crush. Uh, still needs this skin replaced. But you can see how I, when I built this, I basically got a piece of steel going up. And then there's a tube welded to it, so that holds it up in position. And there's also a hole, how it was originally, to allow, I guess, water to flow through? I have no idea. But that's what it had, so that's what I put back. But you can see I don't, not everything gets butt welded. This is a, a lap joint here. It's just, for certain things, it's just easier and it doesn't really matter once it's in. It's a gauge thicker than the original steel. But you don't want to go too thick because I see people put, you know, real thick steel in place and like, oh, that's better. It's like, no, not really. Because now you're just putting more heat when you don't need to on your remaining steel. So, if you look at uh, this side, hasn't been done yet.
So basically, um, this is this is the side here. So that side uh, wasn't much better before I started. So rebuild all this. Obviously, I got to rebuild up in here too. There's several other areas that are going to get patched up, including here in the back corner. Then I'll make a new uh, a new tunnel for the uh, gas neck. Also repaired these. This has been uh, cut out, cleaned, welded. And then spot welded. And we had to do the, uh, I'm not sure what it's called on this. I mean, this is your tow board. We had to do the tow board, obviously. But down in here, the filler. And then this side was bad. That's an old uh, fender from an old simplicity. Another Toro Groundmaster hood. This is the other inner brace for this side you can see I don't have to replace this on this one I just have to drill some spot weld holes and then I have to I'll replace this section here but this piece is good doors are solid the fenders are solid quarter panels are solid majority of the rust is all just in the uh, subframe or well not the subframe the unibody frame but like the trunk lid everything everything's nice and solid on it trunk floor is good and solid so like i said finish this side this side's almost done that side's almost done so i just got to do that side up there a few other little thingies then we'll basically start putting the car back together Transmission, the seal kit's on its way. Engines, uh, just waiting on a few things for it. So, you can see everything in here is looking good. 